Rainy Rogers is my name. This is Rainy Media. Subscribe and let's go straight to the biography of Idris Deby Itino. Marshal Idris Deby Itino was a Chadian politician and a military officer who was president of Chad from 1990 until his assassination by militant forces in 2021. He was also head of the ruling Patriotic Salvation Movement. Debbie was of the Bidayat clan of the Zagawa ethnic group. He took power by leading a liberian against President Hissen Habri in December 1990 and survived various rebellions and coup attempts against his own rule. Debbie won elections in 1996 and 2001. And after term limits were eliminated, he won again in 2006, 2011, 2016, and 2021. He added Itino to his surname in January 2006. He was a graduate of Muammar Gaddafi's World Visionary Center. Several international media sources described Debbie's multi-decade rule as authoritarian. He was killed in April 2021 while commanding his forces against rebels from the Front for Change and Concord in Chad. Debbie Idris Debbie has been in office since 2nd December 1990 till 20th April 2021. He preceded Hissen Habri, and he has been succeeded by Muhammad Idris Debi as the chairman of the Transitional Military Council. He was the chairperson of the African Union since 30th of January 2016 till 30th of January 2017. He preceded Robert Mugabe and was later succeeded by Alpha Conde. His personal details. Marshal Idris Debi Itino was born on 18th June 1952 in a city called N'Djamena in a country which was called French Equatorial Africa and now it's called Chad. He died on 20th of April 2021 at the age of 68. His cause of death was assassination and this was gunshot wounds. His political party was Patriotic Salvation Movement, and his spouse was Hinda Debbie Itino. He had a lot of children, but two are known. One is Muhammad Idris Debbie, another one is Ibrahim Idris Debbie, who died some time back. His religion was Islam, and ethnicity was Zagawa. Debbie was born in the village of Badoba, approximately 190 kilometers from Fada in northern Chad. His father was a poor herder who belongs to the Bidayat clan of the Zagawa community. After attempting the Kranik school in Tiny, Debbie studied at the Ecole Francaise in Fada and at the Franco Arab School in Abeche. He also attended the Lysi Jerkes Modena in Bongol and had a bachelor's degree in science. After finishing school, he entered the officer's school in N'Djamena. From there, he was sent to France for training, returning to Chad in 1976 with a professional pilot certificate. He remained loyal to the army and President Felix Maloum even after Chad's central authority crumbled in 1979. He returned from France in February 1979 and found Chad had become a battleground for many armed groups. Debbie tied his fortunes to those of Hissen Habri, one of the chief Chadian warlords. A year after Habri became president in 1982, Debbie was made commander-in-chief of the army. He distinguished himself in 1984 by destroying pro-Libyan forces in eastern Chad. In 1985, Habri sent him to Paris to, to follow a course at the Ecole de Guerre 
on his return in 1986, he was made chief military advisor to the presidency. In 1987, he confronted Libyan forces on the field with the help of France in the so-called Toyota War, adopting tactics that inflicted heavy losses on enemy forces. During the war, he also led a raid on Martin Al Sara Air Base in Kufra in Libyan territory. A rift emerged on 1st of April 1989 between Habri and Debi over the increasing power of the Presidential Guard. According to Human Rights Watch, Habri was found responsible for widespread political killings, systematic torture, and found thousands of arbitrary arrests as well as ethnic purges when it was perceived that group leaders could pose a threat to his rule, including many of the Bezizagawa ethnic group who supported the government. Increasingly paranoid, Habri accused Debi, Minister of the Interior Muhammad Itino, and Commander-in-Chief of the Chadian Army Hassan Jamas of preparing a coup d'etat. Debi fled first to Darfur, then to Libya, where he was welcomed by Gaddafi in Tripoli. Itino and Jamas were arrested and killed. Since all three were ethnic Zagawa, Habri started a targeted campaign against the group which saw hundreds seized, tortured, and imprisoned. Dozens died in detention or were summarily executed. In 2016, Habri was convicted of war crimes by a specially created international tribunal in Senegal. Debbie gave the Libyans detailed information about CIA operations in Chad. Gaddafi offered Debbie military aid to seize power in Chad in exchange for Libyan prisoners of war. Debbie fled to Sudan in 1989 and formed the Patriotic Salvation Movement, an insurgent group. Supported by Libya and Sudan, which started operations against Habri, and on 2nd December 1990, Debbie's troops marched unopposed into N'Djamena in a successful coup ousting Habri. Idris Deby assumed Chad's presidency in 1991. He had been re-elected every five years up until the time of his death. After three months of provisional government on 28th of February 1991, a charter was approved for Chad with Deby as president. During the following two years, Deby faced a series of coup attempts as government forces clashed with pro habri rebel groups such as the Movement for Democracy and uh, Development. Seeking to curl dissent in 1993, Chad legalized political parties and held a national conference which resulted in the gathering of 750 delegates, the government, trade unions and the army to discuss the establishment of a pluralist democracy. In 2020, Debbie signed a bill abolishing capital punishment in Chad in 2020. The firing squad had last been used on terrorists in 2015. In February 2021, Debbie announced Chad would send 1,200 soldiers alongside French troops to the Sahel border between Niger and Mali and Burkina Faso to combat Al-Qaeda linked groups. In the 2021 Chadian presidential election, Debbie won his sixth term as president when his results were announced on 19th of April with 79.32% of the votes. In February, security forces had attempted to arrest leader of the opposition, Yaya Dilong Jeru, with Jeru claiming five members of his family were killed during this attempt and the government instead reporting only three were killed. Most political opponents had withdrawn from the election, urging a boycott, alleging attacks and excessive use of force by security forces during anti-government protests. 
Instead of giving a victory speech, Debbie went to visit the Chadian soldiers on the front lines, fighting the northern rebel incursion by the Front for Change and Concord in China, which is abbreviated as FACT in French. He was said to have been mortally wounded on Sunday, 18th April, and was flown to the capital where he died on 20th of April. About his personal life, Debbie was married several times and had at least a dozen of children. He married Hinda, who was born 1977 in September 2005. Reputed for her beauty, his marriage attracted much attention in Chad and due to tribal affiliations, it was seen by many as a strategic means for Debbie to bolster his support while under pressure from rebels. Hinda is a member of the civil cabinet of the presidency, serving as the special secretary. On 2nd July 20, 2007, Debbie's son Brahim was found dead aged 27 in the parking garage of his apartment near Paris. According to the autopsy report, he had likely been asphyxiated by white powder from a fire extinguisher. A murder inquiry was launched by the French police and Brahim had been sacked as the presidential advisor the year before after being convicted of possessing drugs and weapons. Blogger Makaila Ngwebla attributes the defection of many Chadian government leaders to their indignation over Brahim's conduct. He is at the root of the frustration. He used to slap government ministers, senior Chadian officials were humiliated by Debbie's son. In July 2011, four men were convicted of robbery, leading to death without intention to kill and sentenced to prison sentences of between 5 and 13 years. Debbie was religiously a Muslim. About his death, according to an army spokesperson, Debbie had succumbed to his injuries on 20th of April 2021 while commanding his army against fact labels in the north of Chad during the northern Chad offensive at the age of 68. The Chadian parliament was dissolved upon his death and a transitional military council led by his son Muhammad Idris Debi was formed. Ren Rogers is my name. This is Rain Media. Write in the comment section and type RIP to this fallen president. A sign out.